Hey, what's going on guys? Alan from Lonzo Studios coming to you with a really quick tip. Now, this is mostly for you guys that are doing music videos, music video type edits. Okay, so now when I'm editing my music video or my live events, sometimes I'm just cutting to recorded audio and I just don't need to hear any audio from my source monitor. Now, for instance, if I'm playing here, I just want to cut a couple of these scenes. I just want to create my endpoints. I'm poised and I just want to be able to drag, you know, just drag as usual, but I don't want to hear when I'm trying to find my in and out points. I don't want to hear the audio. So typically what I do is I come up here to Windows and I come here where it says Audio Clip Mixer. I select that and then I drag it over to this corner here. You can put it wherever you want to put it. I drag it over this corner here so when I'm playing my source monitor, I can turn that down. I don't need to hear it. I know a lot of guys say just record it without any audio but sometimes I get clips that I'm editing for a friend or a family member and it's got audio it's already been recorded so you know what are you gonna do alright so once you do that you can still come down here and you can still hear your audio it treats each audio independently so just to recap Windows audio clip mixer yeah you get your audio clip mixer you can move it around any way you want to you see that blue highlight you can drop it wherever you want to. I just choose to put it over here for me. It just makes sense. And it will retain the audio with audio level for the timeline separately from the source monitor. And there you go. All right, guys. Hopefully that helps some of you guys out. If it did, go ahead and drop me a like. Subscribe if you want more videos of this type. And, you know, help me build this channel up. Thanks. Appreciate you watching. Take care. Bye -bye. <laughs>